Hello everyone. Earlier we had solved in my previous videos couple of Olympiad papers. IEO that is English Olympiad, IGKO General Knowledge Olympiad, NCO Cyber Olympiad. And today we will solve together IMO that is International Mathematics Olympiad. This would be for grade 1 and 2020 two question paper. That is last year. So let's get started. SOF International Mathematics Olympiad paper is divided into four sections. First is logical reasoning. Second is mathematical reasoning. Third is everyday mathematics. And the last one is achiever section. So let's first start with the logical reasoning. Question one. Find the missing number in the given number pattern. So let's see what is the pattern. First we will find together what is the pattern and then we will fill a number in the question mark candle. First one is 11, 12, 13 and the second candle says 14. So there is a gap of two numbers 12 and 13. Let's see the next one 15, 16 and here comes 17. This also matches that the same pattern gap of two numbers. Let's see the next one. 18, 19 and we have 20. Till now the pattern is matching. 21, 22 and then the question mark should have number 23. So let's remember this number. And we will complete our pattern just to be double sure. 24, 25, we have 26. 27, 28, we have 29. So the pattern is there is a gap of two numbers in between. And our correct answer would be answer B, 23. Question 2. The girl is standing dash the tree. So we need to find what preposition will go there. Okay. Is she standing inside the tree? No. Is she standing under the tree? Yes. It is under the tree. Not on and not above. So the right option would be B under. Question 3. Dash groups of four Spider-Man each can be formed from the given Spider-Man. So let's count how many Spider-Man are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So in total we have 16 Spider-Man. Now we have to make a set or a group of 4 Spider-Man. And we need to see how many such groups we can make. So we have made our first group of four Spider-Man, second group of four Spider-Man, third group of four Spider-Man and fourth group of four Spider-Man. So we can make four groups of four Spider-Man. The correct option is D. Question 4. If grass is related to horse, then in the same way milk is related to so we need to find out whether A, B, C or D is related to milk. So horse eats grass, right? So we need to find out who drinks milk. It's pretty clear. Our cute cat. So option C is the right answer. Question 5. The number of triangles in the given figure is Let's find out the number of triangles. One is head, second is tail and the rest one are in the wings. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In total we have 12 triangles in this butterfly. Our correct option is option C, 12. Question 6. Select the odd one out. A. Chair. 
B table C sofa and D fan So A B C have one common thing they do not run on electricity whereas D that is fan runs on electricity so D would be the odd one out is the right answer Question 7 dash is the fourth ice cube from the left end so here the right end is already marked so the opposite end would be left end let's count which one is the fourth ice cube first is j second is k third is n and fourth is t so our right option would be d question 8 dash is the costliest so costliest means the one which has the highest value the first one that is a costs 50 rupees b ball costs 62 rupees c dice costs 30 rupees and d hat costs 80 rupees so out of 50 62 30 and 80 which is the greatest number it is 80 so the right option is d question 9 there are dash books on the table here we have to only count number of books that are on the table not which are lying down right so only count the books which are on the table 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the right option is a 8 question 10 which of the following options will complete the pattern in the given figure so we have a circle over here which has a pattern now we have to see whether when we fit a then it completes the picture or b c or d so let's see option a it looks like if we fit option a it is going to complete the picture because it's diagonally opposite one looks exactly the mirror image of option a the right option is option a now we'll move to our next section that is mathematical reasoning question 11 the total number of penguins shown here is dash so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i can see eight penguins now let's understand the options eight ones how do we call out eight ones eight ones means only eight option b is seven tens so when we say seven tens it means 70 option c 10 ones when we say 10 ones that means 10 option d 6 tens which means 6060 60. so the right option should be option a because we have here eight ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 ones question 12 the given number line shows what equation so let's first see what this line is showing us so it is showing that from 0 to 6 we have gone that is number 6 and from number 6 we are jumping back few digits and we are reaching to 2 the ultimate answer we are getting is 2 now we have to complete the equation so 6 minus 1 2 3 and 4 6 minus 4 from 6 if we go back four digits we get 2 so 6 minus 4 equal to 2 right option is b question 13 which of the following activities generally takes least amount of time least amount means minimum minimum amount of time so a a is having your meal b b is sleeping c is playing and d is both a and b so 
we generally sleep for around 8 hours. We play for 1 hour, maybe 2 hour. But when we eat, we try to complete our meal by say within 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, right? So that is going to be the least amount of time. So we take least amount of time in eating our meal. Right option is A. Question 14. Which of the following costs the least? Again, least means minimum. So we need to find out the smallest number out of these. A is kite that costs 15 rupees. B is flower that costs 20 rupees. C is car toy that costs 70 rupees. D is buy toy that costs 65 rupees. So out of 15, 20, 70 and 65, which one is the smallest? It is 15. So the right answer is option A. Question 15. Which of the following options is same as the given addition sentence? So let's look at the addition sentence. It says 5 tens plus 4 ones. Let's see how do we write that. We'll put 5 at the place of tens. We'll put 4 at the place of ones. And we get the number 54. So the right option is D. 54. Question 16. Ribbon dash is the shortest. So here we have to compare all the ribbons L, M, N and O. And we have to find out which is the shortest one. Like which is the smallest one, right? Here the base or I can say the vertical is not common, right? So we will see and we will compare each ribbon by the number of paper clips measurement okay so let's see the measurements l ribbon it is equal to one two three four five pins ribbon m is equal to one two three and four pins ribbon n is equal to one two three and four pins ribbon o is equal to one two three pins now we have the measurement 5 pins, 4 pins and 3 pins. Which is the shortest one? O is the shortest one, right? Because it measures only 3 pins. The right answer is option B. Question 17. Arrange the given numbers in descending order and select the correct option. So descending order means decreasing order. We go from the largest to the smallest number. But before that, we have to calculate this sum. We have to find the number which we will get after adding P equation, Q equation and R equation. So let's do that first. 54 plus 12. So when we add 1s to 1s and 10s to 10s, we get 66. 30 plus 0 is 30. 14 plus 5 is equal to 19. So we have number 66, number 30 as Q and number 19 as R. Now let's put it in the descending order. First the highest and last the smallest. Okay. So it will be P, Q, R. The order would be P, Q, R. Our correct option would be option A. Question 18. Dash shape is a rectangle. So do you know what is a rectangle? Let me tell you. Rectangle has four sides and four corners. But the difference between rectangle and square is Rectangle has two sides equal to each other, not all four. Okay, whereas square has all four sides equal. So can you now guess which one is a rectangle? It's option B. 
Question 19. Weight of flower pot is dash the weight of gift balance. So on our balance beam, there is a flower pot and there is a gift box. Do you know if something is heavier, it tends to go down on the balance beam. So whichever would be heavy will go down and the lighter one will go up. So the gift box is lighter and the flower pot is heavier. So weight of flower pot is more than the weight of gift box. Option A. Question 20. Total amount of money shown here is what? So we can see we have a note of 20. Then again 20, 10 and 5. Let's add these. So we will get 55. 20 plus 20 is 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. And 50 plus 5 is 55. Our correct option is option B. Now we'll move to the next section that is everyday mathematics. Question 21. There were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 birds sitting on the branch of a tree. 1, 2, 3. 3 birds flew away. Now number of birds left on the branch of the tree is what we have to do is we have to take away 3 birds out of 8 birds. So we'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 birds are left on the branch of the tree. The correct option is B. Question 22. Kanika distributed some books to the poor children. She distributed 12 books on Monday and 18 books on Tuesday. Total number of books distributed on both the days is here we have to tell the total number. Okay, that is 12 plus 18. So let's add that and find our answer. 2 plus 8 is 10, 0. We will carry over 1 tens and we will get 3 at the tens place. So the answer of 12 plus 18 is 30, 3, 0, 30. The correct option is C, 30. Mona's father gave her rupees 100 as a birthday gift. Which of the following toys can she buy? Now here just assume that we have 100 rupees and we have to buy something. So we can only buy that object or that particular thing which costs either equal to 100 or less than 100 and not at all more than 100. So what we have to find in each option whether it is lower than 100 or equal to 100 that is going to be our right answer. So option A is a doll and that costs 125. Here 125 is greater than 100 rupees. So definitely Mona cannot buy that. Second toy costs 120. Again it is greater than 100. Mona cannot buy that. Toy C costs 150 rupees. It is also greater than 100. So she cannot buy that. Now the xylophone toy that is option D that is 90 rupees and 90 is lower than 100 rupees. So Mona can definitely buy that. The right answer is option D. Question 24. Ashima made the given figure. Total number of triangles in the figure is let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total number of triangles is 8. Right option is option B, 8. Question 25. Nikita's school's annual function was on the day before yesterday. If today is Sunday, then the school's annual function was on which day? Now let's understand this. Here they are mentioning it was on day before yesterday. 
so let's find what would be yesterday if today is sunday then the yesterday was saturday and the day before saturday was friday so the correct option is option a friday question 26 tarun's weight is 26 kg kirti's weight is 5 kg less than tarun's weight what is the weight of kirti so here what we need to do is we have to subtract we have to subtract 5 kg from 26 kg and we will get 21 so the right answer would be 21 kg option d question 27 sonia had this much amount of money if the cost of a crayon is rupees 10 then how many such crayons can she buy so let's see how much money sonia has she has a 20 rupees note and a 10 rupees note so in total she has 30 rupees and 30 rupees means 3 tens if one crayon cost 10 rupees so we can buy 3 crayons with 3 tens right answer would be option d 3 question 28 kashvi sold 10 shirts on saturday and 12 shirts on sunday how many total shirts were sold on both the days we need to simply add these two 10 plus 12 is equal to 22 so the right option is a 22 Question 29 Shivani Rekha and Hina bought some marbles as shown here who bought maximum number of marbles so first we have to count the total number of marbles Shivani bought Rekha bought and Hina bought and then we will see which is the greatest number so Shivani bought 1 2 3 4 5 marbles Rekha bought 1 2 3 4 5 6 marbles and Hina bought 4 marbles So the greatest number here is six, which is with Rekha. Our correct option would be option C. Question thirty. There were eighteen deer in a zoo, out of which seven deer were shifted to wildlife sanctuary. There were dash deer left in the zoo. So there was a number, and it got reduced because seven deer were taken away to be sent to wildlife sanctuary. So we will have to do subtraction over here. Eighteen minus seven. So eighteen minus seven is equal to eleven, as shown in my table. The correct option would be option D, eleven. The last section is achievers section. Question thirty-one. Which of the following number lines? represent 3 plus 4 so here we have to find which of these lines are showing the equation 3 and then adding 4 more so let's see option a option a is we are on 5 and then we are adding 1 2 3 5 plus 3 option b we are on 3 and then we are adding 1 2 3 4 3 plus 4. Option C. We are on 4 and we are adding 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 plus 4. Option D is we are on 3 and we are adding 1, 2, 3. That is 3 plus 3. Now first is 5 plus 3. Second is 3 plus 4. C is 4 plus 4 and D is 3 plus 3. Our correct match is our correct option is option B that represents three plus four. Question thirty two. Who among the following have the equal amount of money? So first we need to find how much money do Naveen, Rishi, and Saurav have, and then we have to see out of these three who are the two having the same amount of money. So Naveen has 50 rupees note, 20 rupees note, and 10 rupees note. So in total, eight tens. That is 80. Rishi has 20 rupees note, 
again 20 rupees note and one 10 rupees note that is five tens which is 50 and then Saurav has 30 rupees note 10 rupees note and then again 10 rupees note that is five tens that is 50 now we can clearly see that Rishi and Saurav they have the equal amount of money so the correct option is option B Question 33. Arrange the given pencils in the ascending order of their lengths and select the correct option. Ascending order is increasing order. That means going from small to highest. Okay? Or small to largest number. But before that, we have to find out the length of each pencil, PQRS. Now, let's see. How do we measure that? We have seen that there are pins at the base. So we'll measure it with the number of pins. P is equal to three pins. Q is equal to five pins. R is equal to four pins. And S is equal to seven pins. Now we will arrange three, five, four, seven in the increasing order or ascending order. It's three, four, five, and seven, which represents P, R, Q and S. That is our right order. That is our right ascending order. Which is option B. P, e, R, Q, S. Question 34. Which of the following abaxis shows the number which is 4 less than the number of umbrellas shown? So first we need to find total number of umbrellas shown. And then we will take out 4 out of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So total number of umbrellas are 12. And we'll take out 4. The left number is 8. Nothing on the 10th side. Only ones. That is 8 ones. So abacus A shows 10's value. It is not correct. Same with B and C. The right option should be option D because that represents 0 tens and 8 ones. Question 35. Study the given figure carefully and fill in the blanks. P. Total number of triangles and circles in the given figure is. So to solve that we have to first count the triangles then we have to count the circles and then we have to add them. Total number of triangles are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Total number of circles are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let's add 5 and 4. We get 9. Q. There are dash more squares than rectangles in the given figure. So first we have to count squares and then we have to count rectangles. And then what we have to do? We have to subtract them. To find the delta, number of squares are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number of rectangles are 1, 2, 3. So let's minus 3 from 8. We get 5. So P has 9 and Q has 5. Which is that option? That is option A. The correct option is A. With this, we are done with our Mathematics Olympiad. I hope you enjoyed solving this Mathematics Olympiad question paper with me. Keep watching it again and again so that you really revise the questions and solve the answers with me. I will be posting other Olympiad question papers as well in couple of days. So please keep watching and share this channel with your other mates also. Happy learning!